Good morning. Good morning. Um, with our Torah reading being from Deuteronomy 32, I thought it was um, a good thing to talk about Moses a little bit and his long journey home. And when he got to, he was almost there, almost there to walk into the promised land, and God said, you cannot enter because you disobeyed. But we thank God today for a Savior that saves us from sin and allows us to go to the Father and repent. And this is a season of repentance and that we should be looking inwardly to um, what we need to get rid of and what God wants to strip away and to fill us with his spirit and to guide us into the new year. So here's my story. 20 years ago, I decided to take a break from banking. I'd been working in the banking industry since 1975 and wanted to do something different, a change of pace. At that time, my dad owned two businesses. Um, he ran Jack's Garage and McClanahan Excavation. I wanted so much to be outside and wanted to be close to him. So he hired me to work for him. I went from dress clothes and heels to jeans and work boots. I truly believe it was the best time of my life. Being with my dad all day was so much fun. I was known as the girl in the excavation world. Dad would send me on errands, picking up parts for him, and when he would send me out to pick something up, he would tell the company I was traveling to that the girl would be there to pick it up. It became a running joke when I arrived at my destination that the clerks would say, the girl is here. And Dad and I went on a lot of road trips together to buy parts for his heavy equipment. We actually did little work on those days. We would leave early in the morning, making our way across the West Virginia mountains to reach our destination. The funny part was that the trip could have been much shorter, but they always turned into sightseeing expeditions and dinner out. I heard stories about the crazy things that he had, did, he had done growing up, his relationships with his siblings, and his love for heavy equipment. Sadly, though, several years later, our relationship was severed. Bear with me. <laughs> I walked away from church. I walked away from my dad, and I walked away from my heavenly father. Yes, it was fun for a while, but fun turned into sorrow and a longing to, in my heart to return home. It seemed like a long road back. Could I go back? Most importantly, would God allow me to come back? In our tour portion this week, Moses was preparing his people to cross over to the promised land. He gave instructions on how, and how they were to live. I believe he was so happy that God's chosen ones had finally reached their destination and were about to enter the promised land. Moses' heart was also feeling great pain. He was not going to be able to go with them. Moses had disobeyed his heavenly father, and he would not enter the promised land with them. When he climbed to the top of Mount Nebo and viewed the promised land, his heart must have been aching. He wanted to enter the new land so badly. Not following God's direction and sinning had some hard consequences for Moses to face. Praise God for his forgiveness and sending his son, Yeshua, who died for our sins and said, Repent, turn from your evil ways, and follow me. I did turn back to God. Hallelujah. I'm here. <laughs> but I knew I had one more thing to do. I needed to take the long road back to my earthly father's house. It was about an hour drive from where I was to my dad's house. The closer I came to my destination, the faster my heart was beating. I pulled into his driveway, and I sat in the car for a few minutes. A lot of thoughts were running through my head. Would he welcome me back? Would he send me away? When I got out of the car, I saw him a short distance away working on um, some of his machinery, and he had not heard me pull in. I took a deep breath, and I walked up behind him and called out, Dad, I'm home. I'm sorry. He turned around and smiled and said, I knew you'd be back when you were ready. He grabbed me and gave me a big hug. 
I believe this is how our Heavenly Father is. If we truly repent and turn back to him, he is there waiting for us. But just like Moses, we need to remember there are consequences for our sins, and it takes time to overcome. My Heavenly Father and my earthly father have forgiven me. Every mile of the long road back has been worth it. During this season, I always remember the long road home and praise God that he provided the road map back home, prayer, repentance, and his precious word. This journey has made me stronger in my walk with God. When you have fallen into sin and have been pardoned and forgiven, you're very careful not to proceed down that road again. This is a season to check ourselves. Are there any roads we need to travel to get back to our Father? Shabbat Shalom.